Hi, I'm Kennedy. And my name is Audrey Leach. My name is Hunter Livingston, and I'm really excited to introduce my next project, From the Flesh. I'm going to be playing the character Noah. What drew me to this whole project is just my love for the horror genre. One of my favorite things to do is to watch horror films alone. I just love the whole creepy aspect of them and I love seeing if they can actually scare me or not because it's hard to scare me these days. But I really loved the script when I read it and I love the aspects of religion in it. As somebody who did not grow up religious and still is not religious, anything involving religion always fascinates me. So I'm really excited to be a part of this project and I can't wait to see what we create. From the Flesh is about a gifted teenage singer who auditions for a local youth choir and realizes there is a more sinister reason for their devotion when they ask for her voice. When they literally ask to have her voice physically, not just have her voice be a part of the choir, but literally take her voice from her. They would like her voice. Growing up, I had a YouTube channel called Get A Life Productions, where I would make short horror films with my friend. Literally nobody was watching them. I think we bought views to make it look like more people were watching them. But horror has just always been fun to me, and I feel like there's really great um, opportunities to explore novel ideas in the genre. From the Flesh really draws on my experiences being in a youth choir when I was in high school. Um, my high school really didn't have that big of a performing arts program, and so this was kind of an opportunity to participate in something creative with my friends. So I went into this group. I wasn't religious at all. It was just a place for me to perform and sing and dance and, you know. But because I was going there every Sunday to rehearse the same set of songs and to perform the same skits that were all linked to the same messaging that's found in the Bible, it was impossible not to start buying into it. Of course, you're going to start thinking that you should believe in it too because you want to fit in with the group. But they kept trying to instill in us that we were there to sing, perform, dance, use our gifts that were given to us. We were there to use them for him and to give them back to him. That's kind of where I've taken the ideas for this film from. And as our protagonist is coerced into joining this youth choir with the promise of praise and adoration for her singing voice, the story really begins falling into these ideas of self-preservation and self-sacrifice, what we do for a group and why, what we do for ourselves and why, and how the protagonist's own motivations become confused with the thinking of the choir. Hey everybody, I'm a co-producer on this film, From the Flesh. I have worked with Hunter on all of his films um, from NYU and onwards, and obviously making a film has not been the easiest thing in the past few years, so I'm really excited to see it all come to life and just work on another film in person again in general. So I'm just going to quickly walk you through our budget and talk a little bit about what we need for this film. So we are asking for $4,000 and that is mostly to cover the church location that is very important for this film. It takes place in a church and we actually have found a church that fits the bill and is perfect. But aside from the church, we need money to cover all of the typical things you need for a short, um, like travel costs, lodging costs, crafty costs, equipment costs, all that stuff. Again, I'm really happy to be working on another short film and I'm excited to see it come to fruition. Any help that you can give, we would so deeply appreciate and I'm really excited for you all to see the final product as well. I've always been really drawn to horror films about an innocent person being preyed upon or somebody who loses their agency over the course of their character arc or somebody who loses control, somebody who is being manipulated or under the control of a group. As an audience member, when we're watching these films, we just want so desperately 
to extend a hand to the protagonist and help them out of the situation that they're in because they are unaware of what's happening. And I think that's what's so fun about these kinds of movies. You literally want to help the protagonist so badly and you just have to watch as they meet their demise.